When it comes to cancer surgery, pioneering technology is also helping to increase our chance of survival, especially with operations to remove brain tumours. Operations like this one are incredibly delicate procedures, removing cancerous cells from healthy tissue in the most complex organ of the body requires extreme precision down to a microscopic level. Here at Charing Cross Hospital, Mr O'Neill carries out operations like this one every week. And while every case poses its own individual problems, the goals are always the same. The thing that we do know here and now is that we can give the patient a much better outlook if we can get as much of this tumour out as accurately as possible. We have to be very, very precise. Right. Uh, and we use as much technology as we can. We take preoperative MRI scans and we convert them into a 3D volume. And so when we point to the head, we can point the exact correlative point on the image so we can see exactly where we're heading and where the tumour is. And we use ultrasound to update that volume. And of course, then you have your experience that, that your naked eye or using the microscope to identify what looks abnormal. But even with all the current technology, surgeons often have to send a sample from what they believe to be the edge of the tumour to the biopsy lab. There they run tests to see if the job is complete. But this can take up to half an hour and the patient has to remain under anaesthetic. The more cells that can be removed while keeping the healthy tissue intact, the smaller the chance of the cancer coming back. But even with biopsies, the process isn't 100% accurate. If we can improve our accuracy even more, I think we can improve these patients' outlook incredibly. Surgeons here are working with Imperial College on a new device that will bring the biopsy into the theatre. They're enhancing a tool that's already commonly used, a knife that cauterizes the tissue with electricity as it cuts. It's a very precise tool, and what's really good about this is it stops bleeding immediately. Dr. Takats and his team have taken this workhorse of the operating theatre and combined it with a common piece of equipment from the chemistry lab, a mass spectrometer. Electrosurgery, as it works, produces smoke. Using this plastic tubing, we can introduce this smoke into the instrument and we can perform an almost real-time chemical analysis. And as an example of how this technology works, I'm using it to analyze two very different samples of animal tissue. Oh, wow, look at that. Lamb liver chemical signature. Yes, exactly. That is pretty impressive. And not only are we getting a good old whiff of that, but some of that smoke, of course, has been filtered through this tube, but it's letting you know in real time the chemical signature of the cells or the tissue you're cutting through. Exactly. Cancer has a unique metabolism, quite different from uh, any other uh, tissues, mm -hmm. which means that just by looking at those molecules uh, which uh, the electrosurgery liberates from the tissue, we can easily differentiate between healthy and cancerous tissues. And it can give a warning signal whenever the wrong type of tissue is hit. This technology could help surgeons define more precisely where the tumour boundaries are and ultimately help to safely remove more of the cancer.